Here we describe the processes of cell preparation, image collection, and structural analysis of the actomyosin ring in the model organism Schizosaccharomyces pombe using electron cryotomography. To ensure that the majority of cells were dividing during preservation, cells carrying a fluorescently tagged regulatory light chain of myosin were synchronized and monitored for the formation of fluorescent rings at the mid-cell. In a single optical slice, the ring appears as a pair of fluorescent puncta. Once the majority of the rings had begun to contract, cells were either pelleted and high pressure frozen or plunge frozen on EM grids. High pressure frozen vitreous domes of pelleted cells were first mounted in a cryo ultra microtome where the dome was trimmed into a block face and vitreous sections were cut approximately 200 nanometers thick. Ribbons of cryo sections were collected on an EM grid and transferred later to the cryo electron microscope for tomographic data collection. Cells that were plunge frozen directly on EM grids were sputter coated with platinum to improve milling properties, and then they were transferred into a dual beam scanning electron microscope and focused ion beam mill equipped with a cryo stage. Individual S. Pombe cells were identified on the grid surface and from a low angle of incidence, they were iteratively milled using a focused gallium ion beam into a thin lamella. Samples containing cryofib milled lamellae through dividing cells were then transferred to the cryoelectron microscope for tomographic data collection. In this intermediate magnification image of a cryo section through a dividing S. Pombe cell, the cell wall and the ingressing septum are clearly visible. In such a case, the leading edges of the septum were targeted for higher magnification tilt series imaging. To collect a typical tilt series, images were taken every one degree as the vitrified section of the cell moved from plus to minus 60 degrees. After tomographic reconstruction, we focused on the structures visible at the leading edge of the septal membrane. In this tomographic slice of a transverse section through the actomyosin ring, you can see a bundle of 7.5 nanometer wide densities corresponding to cross sections through actin filaments. You can also see the leading edge of the ingressing cell wall and the membrane at the front edge. Traversing up and down through the z-dimension of the tomogram illustrates that the actin filaments are running perpendicular to the image plane and parallel to the septal membrane. While myosin was not structurally identifiable in the tomograms, correlated cryofluorescence microscopy and cryoelectron microscopy on vitreous sections revealed that myosin is present at the leading edge of the division septum. Three-dimensional segmentations of the septal membrane and the actin filaments were generated for structural analysis. From these segmentations, it is clear that the actin bundle is composed of straight filaments running circumferentially around the mid-cell, nearly parallel to the membrane. The bundle is made of overlapping filaments, as filament ends could be seen in the middle of the tomograms. Using the segmentations of 15 different tomograms, we were able to measure the nearest neighbor distances between actin filaments, which peaked sharply at 11.5 nanometers, and the distances between filaments and the membrane, which showed a broad distribution from 10 to 150 nanometers, with a mean value of 60 nanometers. Viewing all segmentations at the same time quickly illustrates the variability seen in the cross-sectional shape of the actin bundle. In cross-section, the actin bundles contained 35 filaments on average, and this number ranged between 13 and 60 filaments. In our tomograms, a cumulative total of approximately 3 microns of actomyosin ring length was visualized, and there were no direct contacts observed between the actin filaments and the membrane. While no obvious connections between the filaments and the membrane were resolved, the way the bundle saddles the leading edge of the septum implies a physical connection exists.